Hi, today I'm going to talk about what is a duck number. A duck number is a number which contains zero at any place other than the first. It's very simple. Any uh, number which has zero in it except in its first position is a duck number. But if a number uh, which does not contain zero at all or has zero at its first position is not a duck number. So let's begin. I am using BlueJ here. It's pretty simple. Uh, you can use other Java compilers also. It does not matter. So just a brief description what I told about. Uh, a number which contains zero at any place other than the first position is a duck number. So what's special about this programming? See, it's roughly about, I'll say, give or take around 10 lines of logic here. <laughs> if I, give or take not 10 lines. Yeah, just 10 lines. Uh, I'm starting with the Java util class. Util class is basically for uh, taking user input uh, via scanner. Uh, to call scanner class, I will, I'm using util package here. Uh, I'm calling the entire using wildcard. I'm calling uh, everything in util or you can just specify scanner also. My class name is duck number. Uh, I'm, it's nothing you can be, you can use any other uh, class name it does not matter as long as if you're, in, if you're using BlueJ you must have the name of the class name and the above same public static void main uh, string args uh, what does this mean like what significance does this have uh, public here is an access modifier that means this uh, method can be accessed from anywhere static here is basically uh, so that the Java virtual machine can load this class into memory and call the main method here void is basically i don't have any return type like you can sometimes uh, have a function in which you can return uh, from outside you can uh, some return logic you can put inside and you can return the values again to the method but it's void so i'm not returning anything and here the method name is main but you can have any method name so this is you if you have any notion that you need to have a method name main you need not you can have any method name. String args basically specifies here that uh, Java main method accepts a single arguments of a string array. Okay. Now let's begin. Uh, scanner sc new scanner system dot I am initializing the scanner class here so that uh, it allows user input to be given through the terminal. The object I have created is sc. If you create any other object, like suppose if I create sc one then I'll have to use uh, SC1 here also uh, because I have the SC1 is the object name and this is the object name I have been using. So let's keep this as, as uh, SC1. Next line is system enter number to be checked. Okay. Now, why have I taken the input here as string? Now you may be confused that why, okay. Why has he taken the input as string here? The simple logic here is that the number uh, if entered in an integer format, the first position zero would be omitted. To put in simple terms, let's compile this. I'll close this and show you another program here. See, this is a simple uh, Java class. Here I'm taking a user input and I'm just printing the output here. Okay, uh, just class name, string args, simple as I've told you, scanner class, n is the user input which I'm taking, sc.nextInt and number received i'm just printing it out okay i will compile this let's close let's run this here okay now when i run this uh, what you see here is if i give a user input of uh, let's say zero zero one two three so you expect zero zero one two four to be printed but the number received here is one two four why is that because when entered in integer format the 0 0 is omitted uh, because it does not have it does not carry any value so that is the reason uh, here in the logic i have entered the number i have i am taking the uh, number from user in a string format and also it makes the manipulation much easier because you can uh, extract the string uh, via positional values directly using a caret method caret method in java is basically you initialize a character uh, and s is the string here which has the user input and by doing a caret of zero basically i am 
extracting the zeroth position character here as i told you if the zeroth position or the first position this array indexing starts from zero so basically if the first position if it has zero we will just say yes the program uh, the number is not a duck number because a duck number should not have zero uh, in its first position or it should have zero at any other place rather it's instead its first position okay now i'm checking if it's a zero i will just uh, print out s plus not is a duck number because it has zero in its first position like suppose if i enter 0 0 1 2 3 it's not a uh, duck number because zero is starts with a zero a duck number should not start with a zero okay now suppose i enter 1 2 3 so if this condition is omitted now count here is basically to count the number of uh, zeros in the entire string or the number you may say so i'll start with one because for the zeroth position i have already checked here i'll check for its entire length now i'll pull the character one by one and check for that character to be zero and i'll just increment the count variable here so basically now if i have a suppose i'm taking four five six at zero this is my number uh, the four comes in so suppose sorry the fourth position has already been checked here so five is the first character to come in five is checked okay it's not zero count plus plus it will not go inside if it will go back again five is not zero or it will go back again six is not zero it will go back again eight is not zero it will go back again yes zero is equals to zero count plus plus okay now we have a zero in the uh, number now if when we come outside it will uh, if uh, count is greater than zero that means if zero is at any position other than the first position then it's a duck number otherwise in the else we print out that it's not a duck number see the logic is pretty simple you are just uh, checking for the characters uh, in the string and it and the manipulation is also much easier now let's uh, compile and run this the first input to okay we'll try with uh, 707069 let's copy this okay compile close let's run this i'll call it here okay uh, okay number to be 70704 i think it didn't get copied yes 70704 is a duck number because it has zero uh, in its entire uh, number like in different positions except the first position now let's try with uh, some other number let's try a someone okay let's try with uh, 0 2 3 4 5 6 yes it's not a duck number because uh, the number starts with 0 okay now let's check the other condition which also says that it's not a duck number the other condition is that the number should have 0 in its and uh, anywhere like it should have 0 anywhere in uh, any position but here we do not have zero at any position so it's not a duck number it's pretty simple right see this is all about it uh, the duck number it's pretty simple but the logic where you approach which makes all the difference uh, in exam when you approach this uh, via string method it will hardly take any time more than five minutes at best to ten minutes if you are most uh, if you're familiar with string uh, manipulation this is what makes the difference here now in future videos i'll work on the java tutorial different more tutorials and also i'll be doing various other like cloud technologies i know you are not familiar if you are it's good uh, i'll be making some videos on cloud also you can share this video with your friends and and you can leave a comment if you want me to make videos on any other topic thank you